When it comes to learning Photoshop, you'll hear people say that you need to select before you correct. And the better your selections, well, the better the corrections. So here we're going to focus in on a number of our different selection tools. We're going to start off in our tools panel. We'll start up at the top with the marquee tools. If you click on this icon here and hold it down, you can see that there are two main tools. These tools are used really often when working with photographs. There's a rectangular or elliptical marquee. Both of these work in similar ways, yet each of them allows us to select a different shape. Let's start off with the rectangular marquee. Well, here we can go ahead and click and drag in order to create selections. You can see these little dots. These are called marching ants, and these signify the area which is selected. One of the things that you need to know how to do when working with selections is how to deselect. Let me show you the shortcut for that. If you go to the Select menu, you'll notice there's an option for Deselect, and here's that shortcut. On a Mac, it's Command-D. Windows, that's Control-D. Let's go ahead and press that shortcut in order to deselect. Next, let's look at our elliptical marquee tool. This one allows us to create selections which are in the shape of an ellipse. Here you can see you can click and drag this out. And with both of these tools, well, they're anchored where we first started off. Now, sometimes that's a little bit awkward because we don't really know where to click. Like, let's say I want to select the watch. Well, what you can do is press the spacebar key while holding down your mouse button. That allows you to lift up the selection, put it in a new spot, and then let go of the spacebar key, and then you can resize that selection area. Another important part about making selections is the selection edge. By default, it's a hard edge. There is no feather. We can navigate to our Edit pull-down menu. Then we can choose Fill. Here, I'm going to go ahead and fill this selection with white. Let's click OK. Next, let's deselect. We can do so by going to the menu or by simply using our shortcut key, Command or Control D. Well, here at this selection, you can see that really nice hard edge. Well, we can soften that by clicking on our selection tool and dragging to increase this. Let's go up to, say, 15 points or so. Next, we'll click and drag an extension and do the same thing as before, Edit, and then choose Fill. Here, we'll go ahead and fill once again with white and then click OK. Then I'll deselect Command or Control D. Now, when I do that, you can see that this selected area, well, it's much more diffused. The edge is much softer and it kind of blends back into the picture. I need to remove both of these little things that I've done here. To do so, press Command Option on a Mac, Control Alt on Windows, and then tap the Z key in order to step backwards. Well, let's say that what we want to do with this image is we want to select the center area of this camera. We're going to do so with our elliptical marquee tool. And I want to change the contrast and color saturation. I want to learn how to use one of these tools. We'll go ahead and click on it in the Tools panel. And then let's take our feather down, maybe just a couple pixels here, two or three or so will work well. Go ahead and click near the area that you want to select. If you don't get it right, press the spacebar key and reposition that, and then click to resize your selection. And then keep pressing the spacebar and keep resizing until you have a nice selection of the lens. Now, once we've made that selection, we can modify it in some really powerful ways. So far, we've looked at how we could fill a selection with a color. Well, let's say we actually want to modify our picture, that area of our picture. Well, to do that, let's go to our Image pull-down menu, and then go to Adjustments, and just choose this very top adjustment, Brightness and Contrast. Here, just to this area, I'll go ahead and increase the brightness, and also increase the contrast. Well, now this matches a little bit better with the background, right? It kind of has that interesting color palette, nice contrast. Let's go ahead and click OK in order to apply this, and then Deselect. Go to Select and choose Deselect, or use that shortcut. And here you can see we've now modified this photograph in a really helpful way. We were able to create a selection which allowed us to apply adjustment just to the lens. Without that selection, it would have modified everything and that just wouldn't have worked. And so selections, as you can see, they can help us out immensely. So let's take a look at how we can work with other selections as well, because what we need to know how to do is not just how to use these tools, but also how to modify them a little bit and let's do that in the next few movies.